Hello guys, in this video you will learn how to divide a circle in equal parts and a line in equal parts and you will be learning a special method to find its to find a center for a given arc like this is a center I am using grafter which makes a equal parallel and perpendicular on every side first we are fixing a drafter with the paper this way then I am making a circle with the help of compass of any radius you can take I am taking here 5 centimeters then I'm making a circle as I see it will make then we are making both perpendiculars passing through its center it is a center C We are dividing this circle in 12 equal parts. Instead of measuring with protracted as 30 mm, 30 degrees, we are keeping a radius constant. That is the radius. This is the radius. We are keeping a leg on A and B and C. Leg on A. We are cutting this circle by making an arc here B and C thus we are making six divisions here as we extend these lines at another part of a semicircle we'll get both equally divided lengths then we are joining C and D. We are extending add to the circle. Next for this part and here and there. Yes, we got equally to well divided parts then as I tell told that we are dividing a line in equal parts a line of any radius or a of any length we are taking about 11 point something A B this is the line then with the help of protector we are making an angle which is less than 30 degrees and we are making a line which is passing to A of known length if we want to divide this line in 12 parts we are taking 120 or 60 mm so we are taking 120 mm passing through A this will be 120 so we are dividing in 12 parts with the help of compass 
taking 10 mm 10 mm as previous cutting the line then we are joining AC the first one one and we are three and so on four five six seven eight nine ten this is eleven and this one is twelve we are joining twelve and B And joining the sixteenth chapter with the inclination of as I told rafter will always be proper parallel and perpendicular everywhere in the chart paper. So we divided this line into very equal parts. If you took 60, then as we take 1 or 10 mm, instead of 10 mm, you take 5 mm. That's it. You'll get the divisions like this and so on. Then I'll to locate a center for a given arc, take any of the arc, we have to locate a center for this arc. For this thing, making two chords of any lens, this will be this. and this will be here then bisecting the line here so we bisecting this line then joining and extending forward one. this is the center for the given arc. By this help you can find any center for any curve. Thanks for watching.